the best way to get people to do acupuncture is to get them to do acupuncture. <laughs> they need to, to get needles. It. They have to try it. of a last ditch effort for some uh, things that were bothering me. My back I've had uh, from some crushed discs from uh, just uh, work and uh, through life and um, motorcycle accidents and stuff. I've had a pain there for 25 plus years that ran from one side of my back all the way across, about the size of my fist and then across. And I noticed that uh, went away basically. and. Uh, that in itself was uh, was amazing to me. for the sliding scale that fit my budget, it would be impossible to take the number of treatments that would allow me to get better. I would, if I had to pay average prices, I would pay to get better, to wait to get sick, to pay to get better, to wait to get sick, just over and over and over. I think it's the best thing that ever has happened as far as wellness is concerned, to have this sliding scale where you, it is affordable. It's not a, it's not so painful to do it financially. And I think the spirit is right. I really didn't think it would work at all. I'd been through the ringer my whole life without even really knowing I was sick and spent the last three years in and out of anesthesia. So I was like, really, little needles, sure, whatever. Um, after the first treatment, I felt so good, I went home and called my grandma, my mom, my ex-boyfriend, my friend. <laughs> I couldn't even sleep, I was ecstatic. You know, you walk into this room filled with strangers. You don't talk to each other. You don't make eye contact. But you're all there for a similar purpose, which is to try to heal something that's wrong with you. And I'm going to venture to guess that most of those people couldn't afford the care that they were, that they're receiving if, if it wasn't for the sliding scale.